Yo, <laughs> yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys the Max meta and why Max is one of, if not the most annoying brawlers in the game right now. Max is absolutely dominating. We did a top five brawl ball brawlers list yesterday and Max is the number two brawler, almost number one. Basically the only reason why it's not number one is because the other most dominant brawler actually counters Max. We're going to give Tara the number one spot, but Max is definitely a close number two. But what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to effectively use Max in brawl ball. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's start and let's start showing you guys how to properly play max in brawl ball okay so here we go into the game and what, we, what you guys noticed off the loading screen is we're playing double tank so what you want to do with max comms is play more tankier comps and play with tanky brawlers because the point of max is getting your speed and then getting as close to their face as possible super fast and just trying to take them out so obviously tanks are better at that using a shelly or something like that is also really good maybe even a tara with this comp is good but it's just important that you use tanks or stuff that's good from close range so we're going to use our speed for me and jig we're going to be able to get one kill over there going to be able to get another one jig's going to pass the ball forward i'm going to give it to fudge he's going to put it in the net that's going to be a really quick goal we have our speed again so i'm going to do the same thing hit our speed for both of our teammates and we're going to move up and start attacking so the goal here again is to get as close as possible we're going to try and take out the shelly because that's the biggest weakness obviously do a double tank comp uh we're going to get our super here so we're just going to sprint back run back up give the ball to jig jig's going to give it to fudge and the ball is not going to end up going in the net the shelly is going to make a good defensive effort over there gonna try and get our super here gonna be able almost to get it we're very very close Shelly's going to end up breaking the wall. It's a good play by Shelly. Not much we could have done over there. A bit unlucky that she's going to be able to get the goal. But again, we have our, all three of us have our super. So this is a very dangerous spot for them to be in. Uh, we're going to be able to get one kill over there. I'm almost at my super again. So I just need to chip away to get it. I'm going to be able to get it. Fudge is going to get get a, uh, a super shot. Sorry. He's just going to put that one in the net. So that was a little bit more of a difficult game because they kind of had the same strategy as us. Except they had the Shelly counter. But pretty good outcome we did well so let's hop into the second game let's see if we can continue su the success let's get into it and let's see what happens okay so here we go into the next game we're going to be facing a team with the exact same strategy so this is actually a really common strategy at the top of ladder um as i've told you guys a lot of people are starting to use this because a lot of people don't know how to counter it the only way to counter it of course being tara but again all you want to do is just start and chip away and get your super and max is the same damage at every single distance so just play it properly so if you're facing tanks just try and do distance from afar if you're playing range try and do distance from a close range um just stuff like that it's pretty simple max is a really good brawler very easy to play so we're going to be able to get a couple kills over there fudge is going to have his super we're not going to use our super though because we should be able to get a goal perfectly fine without it jig's going to pick up the ball and he's going to try and trick shot in the net it's not going to work out but i'm pretty sure at the end of all this stuff is going to work out so fudge is going to get a super but is just going to chill over here we're going to try and take out this bull going to do a good job at it going to go and try and take out this max going to be able to do it and we're going to be able to get our goal so we saved our max super so off off the spawn we can all have speed so there we go we're going to have our speed burst they're also going to use some speed fudge is going to go for a play it's going to be unsuccessful they're probably going to go for a play now um almost able to take out their daryl unfortunately unable to do so but we do have our super again so we're just going to try and rotate and do the exact same thing over again so let's try and get close to our teammates over here Again, we want to involve them in the speed. We're going to use our speed. Jigsaw is going to get it, so he's going to have to jump with speed. And that's going to be an easy goal for anyone who knows how to score. So that's going to be the second game. I'm pretty sure the last game also ended with 109 left in the game. So two back-to-back -back wins against comps that are very similar to ours. So again, let's hop into the next game. Let's see if we can continue showing you guys how to properly play Max. Let's head into it and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against B, Tara, and BB. So this is a little bit of an easier comp, although we are facing our counter, which is Tara. So we're going to try and keep our distance and take out this B over here. Jig's going to do a good job of getting that kill. Um, Jig's going to use super move up, and this is going to be a pretty easy goal for us, I believe. This Tara already kind of gave up. So Jig's going to get the ball, and Jig's just going to go for a trick shot. The BB's going to walk it in her own net. It's going to be one to nothing really quickly for us. We're going to move up. We're one shot away from our super. We're going to be able to get it right over there. We're going to give it to Jig and we're going to start running here. So we're trying not to get hit, trying to take them out in the process. Jig's doing a pretty good job at that. We're going to be able to take out that B over there. And we're just going to walk towards the net. Let's see if we can also trick shot the BB. We're not able to because the BB's not going to walk it in her own net for us. And that was a little bit unfortunate because now we're going to be pulled by this Tara and we just got team wiped. So 45 seconds into the game, we are about to get our super though. So that is, or we do have our super, about to give it to our teammates. So that's good. 
Uh, kind of just running around over here. I'm gonna try and do enough damage to this BB, but we do a ton of damage with Max, so that should be an easy, easy thing to do. Gonna get solo pulled over there against Tara. Tara does completely counter Max, so this Tara is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. She is playing this really well. Uh, credit to her. So Tara again has super. We're gonna try and see if we can snipe it. Not gonna be able to. Let's see if we can do enough damage here with Max. Oh, oh, oh. We got the kill. We were just a second too late and they're gonna be able to get the goal. So we're gonna give our teammates super or speed, I mean, here. And let's see what we can do. So we're trying to make plays over here. Trying to just get our super back at this point because we did get speed. We gained a little bit of position, but we're not able to get a goal or anything. So trying to pinch this Tara over here. We're gonna be able to get the kill. We're one shot away from killing this B. We're going to be able to get that. I'm going to pass the ball to Jig. Jig's going to put in the net, and that's going to be the end of the game. So, again, another pretty good game, looking pretty good. You guys can see we're using tank comps and max and just pushing our way up slowly once we get our speed. So, again, let's hop into the next game. Let's see if we can repeat, and hopefully you guys are seeing the tendencies that we're using and just continue going. So, let's hop into the next game, and let's see if we can get another dub. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're going to be facing Atara again, but this time Daryl and Mortis. So we're going to move up over here. Go for some shots. Almost at our super already, which is really good. We're going to go down, but we do have our super, which is obviously good. Fudge also has super as Daryl, so he's going to try and get a goal over there. Hopefully, he's able to actually do so. Ooh, it looks like he was close, but he didn't end up getting it. So, I'm going to use my super alone, which is okay. A lot of people don't do it, but if you feel like you can get your super back almost, I would recommend doing it. You guys see that we're almost at our super. In fact, we are at our super now. Let's see if we can finesse. Ooh. We almost ended up getting that goal just off of a quick play over there, but unfortunately we weren't able to do so. Let's see if Fudge can kill that. Not able to. We're almost at our super though, which is really good. We've been doing a really good job of getting our super back pretty fast. We're just going to chill over here. Fudge also has super. So hopefully Fudge makes a play. I'm going to use my super over here and just go for this tower. We're going to be able to get the kill. Jig's going to auto aim a little bit too much. We're going to go for that snipe. Going to be able to get it. Again, Max does really good damage. Way too much damage in my opinion. We're going to be able to get that kill and start off again with our speed. So this is going to be pretty dangerous since we have Daryl roll and Leon invisibility. I'm going to pass the ball to Leon. They didn't see it coming. And Jig is going to be able to put that one in the net for us. So that's going to end the game. Again, another basically a little bit over one minute game. So let's hop into the next game. Things are looking really good. You guys are seeing the tendencies that we're using and how to actually use Max and how to win. We're doing this very solidly and very easily. You guys can do the exact same thing. It doesn't take too much skill. So let's hop into the next game. And again, let's just try and do the same thing again. Okay, so here we are into the next game. We're going to be going up against Frank, Max, and Pam. So that's a really interesting comp. I haven't seen this one before. Um, so again, they have the same type of concept as we do. So, you know, just thickness and HP mixed with max, which is basically all of the top ladder comps in Brawl Ball right now. So the Pam's going to be running at us over here. We should be able to pick up the kill. We're not going to be able to, but we should be able to defend this fairly well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the kill over there. Pam's going to waste her turret. Kind of unfortunate for her. I'm going to have speed. So I'm going to give our speed to our teammates. Jig with shield is just going to be an absolute force just just walk that ball in the net or i should say run that ball in the net since he got the max speed it's going to be a really easy goal for us so again we're just trying to charge our super over here or one shot so we're going to move over here try and regain our hp and defend frank does have super we're able to cancel super and this max is coming up but i think we should end up being fine going to use our super to help jigsaw get close to them while he's invincible he is going to do so, but he's going to auto-aim them the ball. And I don't know what's happening over here, but Fudge is somehow defending it. Somehow they didn't score, but now they have a huge HP Frank coming to us. So that one might be a problem. Um, we'll just go up to it and try and do as much damage as possible. Which we almost got the kill. Come on, Fudge. There we go. Fudge is able to get the kill. So somehow this all worked out and they didn't end up scoring a goal, which is actually quite amazing. So again, after we tr we're going to get back from this situation over here, we're going to use our speed and try and get a goal for ourselves. So we're going to just chill over here. Max is going to use speed, so we're going to reset. Waiting for Jig to heal a little bit. We're going to get our speed. We're just going to try and run around this Frank and try and kind of like just play with it. Jig's going to be able to get the kill. We're going to be able to reset over here. We're going to try and use our speed. There we go. Speed for all of us. We're going to move up. Try and do damage to this Pam. Pam does absorb a lot of damage. So we're going to be able to get our super back. Uh, that should be a goal. It's not going to be. We're going to be able to stay alive there though, fortunately. This is not looking very good for us. We're almost actually going to be able to outplay that max. But we're not going to be able to. This is a pretty good game. I actually really do like their comp. I do have speed. So I'm going to be giving it to Jigsaw. 
Uh, Jig's going to be able, getting the speed over there. Fudge is going to try and make a play. Not going to be able to, but we're going to be able to get that kill and just stomp forward. Uh, we're going to get our super over here. I'm going to activate it and just run around and try and see if I can get a goal. Not a good play because we're just going to get auto aimed down. But Fudge is going to be able to pick up the kill. And that's going to secure the game. And that's going to end it. So anyways, it's going to be our final game. And I know this is a little bit different than our other videos. More kind of like our old videos. But I'm working on a brawler guide right now. So I do have to take a little bit of time. It does take a couple days to make that. So instead of having a really instructional video, I can just do something like this. Where I can show you guys how to properly play something. And hopefully you guys can pick up on it. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. The channel has been doing a lot better recently. It's been a lot more active. So thank you guys for sticking around as always. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will have another banger coming out tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Peace.